Hello there, my name's Declan, I'm 26, um, I was born in Scotland, I was brought up in Newcastle and I live in the south of Scotland. I'm a construction worker and I've got two kids. Um, I've seen your channel and it's just really refreshing and it's nice to see people of all ages, jobs and uh, just the, the diversity is great to see people talking about what's happening, challenging what's happening. It's uh, it's quite refreshing because there's a lot of scaremongering going on at the minute and I think a lot of people are having the wool pulled over the eyes on a lot of issues at the minute. Um, for a starter, with what's going on with in terms of protesting, whether it's far right protesting, far left protesting, especially Black Lives Matter at the minute. Um, before I even get into this, I've got, a, I've got friends of many, many ethnic minorities and many, many of them are thinking the same, whether it's from India, Pakistan, uh, North Africa, South Africa, Bayesian or Jamaican, uh, you'll know who you are. But the fact of the matter is I don't agree with the movement. I think what's happening is the far left and the far right are two sides of the same coin at the minute. I mean, look what was happening in London. Uh, you've got the far right throwing sea kales in front of the Churchill statue, like crazy, absolutely crazy, shouting, you go home, you black this, you that, it's it's a disgrace. And then you've got what's happening in Brixton, you've got far left black militias going about asking for reparation money, um, burning Union Jacks, spraying cenotaphs of the people who fought in World War One and Two. Whether you believed in that or not, the, the, they believed they were fighting for freedom of speech and for people to have the right to say what they want in this country. Now, I mean, a lot of Antifa far left and this whole Marxist communist movement, socialist movement that is happening in the UK and America, we are literally bringing America's problems over to this country. It's terrible. Like, freedom of speech has just been literally ripped from beneath our feet. I mean, look at people like, you've got David Icke, Andrew Kaufman's a doctor in America. There's a lot, a lot of famous, famous people that have been banned off Twitter, YouTube, uh, Facebook, all these social media platforms, and they've just been completely eradicated from it altogether. I mean, Everybody's got a right to what they believe and what they're thinking and everybody should have a platform where they can tell the world that's what they think. I mean, it's up to people what they want to believe. Do you know what I mean? It's not up to these multinational corporations with, I think, an evil hidden agenda to decide what we want. I mean, listen, I've got the socialist star tattooed on my arm. That's what I used to believe in and I, I don't believe that anymore. It's... Uh, Unfortunately, it's there to stay. But I grew up, I got common sense. Do you know what I mean? I had kids. <laughs> um, I'm still young, but I, I, I really do. It's scary what's happening. And, I, and I'm, do you know what it is? It's scary bringing up two young daughters in this world at the minute. Um, whether, where people are saying, you know, it's wrong to be white. It's wrong to have to be proud of your culture, to be proud of your heritage. There's no room for racism in this world, but... What is really happening in this world, whether you believe in a conspiracy or not, and I truly, truly believe this, is I think we're heading for a one world system, whether people are talking about we're going into this digital currency thing, there's going to be no cash, uh, you're talking about Bill Gates, by the way, Bill Gates who's been talking about depopulating the world since day one, uh, him and his dad, talking about every single person on planet Earth is going to get this vaccination and there's going to be a digital certificate. Now, you've read 1984, hopefully a lot of you, yeah, or Brave New World, Aldous Huxley, it's the blueprint. It's the blueprint for the New World Order. Whether you believe it or not, it's literally happening in front of your eyes. I mean, look at like, what, 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 what will happen? You'll get a digital certificate. You'll have, you know what I mean? You'll not be able to fly on a plane. Have you had your COVID-19? Uh, vaccination? No, no. Well, you can't fly with us. You can't come in this shop. You can't go to the football. You can't go to the pub. That is honestly how I truly believe the future is going to be like. We're going to be shut down at every point. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, over, like, 
it, I mean, the far left are talking about defunding the police, but let's face it, defunding the police isn't a good move. We should probably pump more money at it and probably educate these people a bit more. But what is really happening is it's the government is turning into uh, is turning so militant the world is becoming so militant everyone is so angry all these protests are just dividing people i mean people that i i knew weren't racist and didn't believe stuff i mean the turning the turning almost far right overnight because of all these protests and all this scaremongering going on same with people turning far left like it's absolute craziness and to be honest i don't know where it's headed but i'm glad that there's a lot of people that don't think that way that are, are actually a bit enlightened uh, a bit woke and you know what i mean hopefully there's there's a bit of saving grace and humanity in the uk population yet all right so see you later and have a good night all right